Hey everyone, it's Lisa and it's Friday. Happy Friday. I did not get too much stuff this week. I ordered one thing and it hasn't gotten here yet. And um, But I did get a few really good things that I'm excited to tell you about. And I figured we'll get the most important stuff out of the way right in the lips. beginning. And that's what I was thinking. If, if I the person just clicks on this, they're not going to know what I'm talking about. So if you're just watching this for the first time, watch my, I will link my other previous video down below where I was talking about um, my favorite uh, ridiculously expensive One of things them was for beauty my lips. and Botox, which I didn't get Botox done the other day, but I did get my lips touched up the other day. And I get the Juvederm, I believe it's like XL or something. It's Juvederm something that has, I think, the lidocaine in it. And I've had Restylane done, I think, the first time. And um, I don't want Restylane again. There might be some benefits to it, but for me, it didn't last as long. And my lips just seemed to swell up so much worse. And it just wasn't as good of an experience to me. Then I had Bellatero done, which I really liked, but only lasted, I bet that didn't last three months. So the Juvederm has worked out really well, and I love it. And I know it's not for everyone. The way I look isn't for everyone. And I just encourage you to do what's good for you. But if you're somebody that's been thinking about it and thinking about it, it is just so much fun because it, I, love, I love being a girl, a woman. Therefore, I love hair, makeup, lipstick, everything. And so anything that I can do to like, you know, it's kind of like a man if he loves to play golf, getting a new club or um, just getting something, you know, if he could do something to make everything about golf, him enjoy it even more. That's kind of what it is to me. It's just something, you know, to make everything but better. <laughs> without any further chit chat, um, these are my lips. <laughs> And I decided first, when I started the video off, not to, matter of fact, here, let me zoom in one more time. I decided not to put anything on. I thought, well, I could put this on, that on, and then I thought, well, I could just put on my lip conditioner. But that, when I put my lip conditioner on, it just even magnifies them. And I wanted you to get a true picture of what they look like, um, I guess it's two days later. I had very minimal swelling. And the lady that does mine, she is actually a teacher, an esthetician teacher at the college here. And she is, she has a daughter that's in her tw late 20s and then a daughter that's in her 30s. So she's probably in her, I would say, mid-50s and very, very practical. You know, I never am encouraged to do more or anything like that, which I think is very good. And it's very good for me because I'm very... I've learned with hair that I don't need to go to a place that has every new thing and really encourages you to do everything because I'm a sucker and I get excited and I'll do it whether it's good for me or not. So anyway, um, so you can see my lips. I didn't have any bruising. This over here is darker anyway. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a little divot in my lips. But so I got just a little bit put um, where I had lost the volume right up in here. And then, normally I don't get any in my the, my lower lip, but I didn't want any in my lips right here because I learned that first time my lips will just totally change shape and they'll fan out if I put filler in the edges. And I didn't like that because it messed up my ratio and I, or just, it just messed up the way my lips look and it was weird to me. So all we did is we put in a little bit right here and a little bit right here, right in those pillowy sections. And I already have that they already have that, you know, kind of crease right there. So that just, just will enhance that just a little bit. But she just, I asked her how much she used, and she just used 0.4 of a vial in my lips. And so therefore, she had a little bit left over. And so what she did is she just filled right here, and right here you can see a little bruise. She filled in those little superficial lines. So she didn't try to like... If you were to really try to do those lines, you would probably need a vial in each one. I mean, you would need way more. But if you're just going to try to get those teeny tiny little creases, um, you just want to do it, you know, kind of at the top and you don't need much. And so that's what she did. So you can see I still have the lines. It's just, you know, you, you get charged for the whole vial, so I wasn't going to throw it away. And I didn't want any more in my lips. So 
I feel like I've told you everything. <laughs> and um, thank you, too. I want to go ahead and say thank you for the wonderful, positive response to my last video. I was so nervous. When I pushed publish late that night, I went to bed, and the next morning I just knew I was just going to wake up to just, oh gosh, all kinds of mean comments. And the general, I think there was that one that said, you're an old hag or something. <laughs> Trust me, that doesn't bother me. And that doesn't bother um, me thank a bit. You for it, oh, that because it allowed me to feel like I can share, you know, that with you and not, um, I don't know, like good friends could, you know what I mean. Okay, so... But I don't want to go through this whole video with nothing on my lips, so I'm going to um, do my lip combo, which I have, I'm going to tell you a few things. I'll go ahead and tell you. This week I tried, I went in and um, got some new things from IT Cosmetics. And this is so true. You know, you, you get into a new brand and you just, oh, you're so gung-ho and you just want to try everything. And you think everything is just going to be so wonderful. And I had actually even watched some of her videos on QVC. On their website and so I was so excited to try so many things and thank you guys for telling me that you can get a lot of those things with the brush which wow what a deal but they were almost all sold out I, I couldn't order anything I wanted on QVC because they were sold out so I went in and I purchased the loose blush the other one stain. It's called rosy glow or something like that I purchased the bye bye pores bronzer and the generation foundation not the illuminating one but just the regular one and took all three back they were just i'm not saying that they were bad products the foundation was way too matte for me i like the illumination one so much better i don't have it on today i just did my strict laura mercier today but it was just really it was just too flat for me it just it had good coverage and it was a pretty color I just felt really blah, and I'm so in love with my classic beige. It was it takes a lot to break me away from that. So I returned that, and the bronzer and blush. When am I going to get it through my head that I don't like loose bronzer and loose blush? I don't know when I'm going to do that. I was just fussing at myself after I did it. The blush was but okay. I, I had so many blushes that I really love, and so. These days, I have to really love something for it to just, you know, awe me. And that was just not that great to me. And it was hard to apply. And so I just didn't like it. And um, the bronzer, I, that's the whole reason I didn't like warmth. Is I like to have like placement with my bronzer. Because I really use it as contour. Because my skin already has enough color with the classic beige. So if you were, you know, wanting to put it, you know, in a brush and then just buff it all over, which is what you're supposed to do with it because it's bye-bye pores. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Again, you would probably like it. So what I'm trying to say is there's really nothing wrong with those products. They just weren't for me. But the winner of just the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. The illumination foundation is gorgeous. The brushes are just out of this world. They're just beautiful. The ball brush and then that flat top brush that I bought to go with the illumination and this that's, I'm oh, going to use this and I love see how it rolls up I just love this lip liner so we're going to do that right Long now distance. see how nude that is it's just like this lip liner is like right up there with Dior linen I just love it and I looked at the other ones oh I got fuzzies in my nose I looked at the other ones and none of them look as nude and pretty as this. The spicy one and the pink one I might get one day, but this is just perfection to me. So there's the top. And there's the bottom. So it just, you know, adds just a little bit and I wanted to get I got cozy up and it's a MAC matte because I wanted to get just a um, matte with just a little bit of color and what I like to do with these sometimes is just take them on my finger and pat them on I think sometimes the mattes just go on better they get cakey sometimes if you just try to do it 
regular. And this gives you that kind of real natural. And I saw that tag or those videos that are going around the, your 10 favorite MAC lipsticks and I've already got my list ready. Because I really, in my drawer of lipsticks, I have, I can't quit talking. I have these lipsticks from MAC that I wear a lot. Even if I don't wear them on videos, I wear them a lot. And they're all kind of nudie colors like this. And I noticed when I watched others, it was more colors. And it was more of the basics. So this will be, I think, a little bit different. Okay. Okay, so that's all. So that just gives you a... What I love is just a nude, let me go get a tissue, just a nude lip that just looks like skin. And, and I then, love that. I'll be right back. I forgot this too. I got my extensions put back in. And it was kind of a, I don't know, I was going to say a no-brainer for me. But what happened is, I, you'll see when I show you some of the things I got, I have watched a couple different people lately. One girl, she must be famous. I know she sings, and it looks like she has like a TV show, but her name is, um, oh gosh, Jesse James Decker. I follow her on Instagram, and I didn't realize that she was like famous or whatever. And so I saw her picture on the side or something on YouTube and started watching her videos, and I watched some that were really old. And um, she has the best personality, and she's gorgeous. And so she did a hair tutorial, and of course, she had extensions. Then the uh, Lauren Conrad on the color cover of, what is it, the latest Allure. I've got that, and I just think she looks so pretty. And then I was reading in there that she has extensions. And then the other day, I, this was the final straw, I think. I clicked on Alex, HRH Collection, and she had put her extensions back in. And she has the same kind that I do, the Irresistible Me. And I have been so fortunate that they have sent me, I think, two sets of extensions. So I have like, I had plenty of hair left to use. And then I have Kate here who is wonderful at putting them in. So what she did is the extensions that from Irresistible Me come with so much hair, she was able to take one, that huge big weft and kind of take it apart. And it was enough for her to do the two rows in my head. Now. There's one little section right here I'm gonna go and have her thin out and cut a little bit because it's just too thick. But it's not that much longer than my hair. It's just that my hair was so much shorter up front that it gave me some longer pieces up front and some more thickness in the back. And um, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun and it's so much, I need to back off of you guys a little bit. It's so much easier too to just do all kinds of stuff and you just wake up and your hair looks already so good. So. I know I'll probably get sick of it, but that's the beauty of it. I'll just have her take them out. So, so um, I did I'll go that right into, and, and I don't know if I was going in a different direction with that, but I'll go right into a hair product that I tried this week. One of you guys, or two of you guys, I think, told me about this. And I'm going to show you the box because I almost thought I couldn't find it until I took a minute and looked at this. It is a new hairspray by Big Sexy Hair, and it's called Get Layered Flash Dry Thickening Hairspray. So what I'm seeing is I'm not the only one who likes this concept. And this is very similar. It's fast flash drying, thickening, this is what I've been using. Hold. And I love it. It is, it's so weird. It's like this and the AG and the Orbe are all like the same thing, but they're all just the teeny tiniest bit different. But if you were to get any three of those, you would love it. This is... It's kind of neat. This is a little bit more of an actual hairspray. I think it might have a little bit more of a hold. It's just wonderful. And um, so try this. Now, I do, if I had to say right now, it would still go in the order of Orbe, AG, and then this. But they're like, they're like, I would never, if I had one, I would never go get the other. I would just wait until the next time. I mean, they're so much alike. And it, a lot of it depends on your hair, what you like, and the scent. Because the Orbe definitely has that scent. And then this has that kind of classic, it's not as bad as like the dry shampoo, but you know what I mean, like more of a classic hairspray scent. And then the AG is kind of more of a masculine type scent. So I love them all. So thank you so much. And I've been using this, you know, the whole time since I got it. 
So another thing I wanted to just tell you real quick is, I, you know, I showed this to you last week, which by the way, did I not crack you up waving that pink thing around? <laughs> When I was editing that, I was like, why did I do that? Did I not get it, what that looked like? But anyway, I was really cracking myself up with that. But this is the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. And I showed it last week. And two of you, Kristen Game and Tiffany, Makeup by Tiffany D, both said that you loved this when you were curling your hair. So I have been using it. And it is, without a doubt, my favorite in the world ever I've ever tried heat protectant spray. It is just makes my hair just hold the curl so much better because I'm going to do a hair tutorial soon. What I've been doing is a little bit different and on the top I use the big two inch curling iron and I do it at night. So for my hair to still be holding this much wave is a big deal and I spray each piece with this and it doesn't get crispy. It doesn't do, you know, when you put the thing on it, it's not real wet and it's just wonderful. And it's heat protecting, thermal protection hairspray. So it is really, really neat. It's so, And it's a lot better. There's another one that I have tried in the past that I think might be Paul Mitchell that there's two strengths of. If I think of the name, I'll put it right here, like Hot Sets. That's what it is much better. It doesn't give you the crispiness. It's just wonderful, wonderful. So if you curl your hair, or I guess if you flat iron it, it would work too, but this is wonderful. So thank you guys uh, for encouraging me to try it. Okay, I've got so much to tell you and I'm so excited. I've been in a good mood lately. Okay, this is something so different than I would typically try, but I don't know. I've gotten pretty adventurous lately. When I was at Ulta on Tuesday, one of the girls that was helping me, she helps me a lot, she, we were kind of bent down looking just, at the it cut at her arm. This is so corny, but this is exactly how it happened. And I said, did you lose weight? And she says, oh, I don't know. She said, I never weigh myself. She said, I run and everything. And she said, but I've been loving that arm lotion, that bliss arm stuff that we've got. And she said, I'm not sure if we've gotten it in yet. And I, so when she finished helping me with the it, I was like, what arm stuff are you talking about? So she took me over and they had gotten it in. And it's this Fat Girl Slim, which evidently is a, like a line that Bliss has. And it's called Fat Girl Slim Arm Candy. Arm Perfecting Cream with Massaging Squeeze applicator. the tube and dispense the cream. Massage into skin in circular motions for 20 to 30 seconds. Starting at the upper arm and working your way down to the wrist. Rub ex any extra cream into your skin with your hand until absorbed. Use twice a day as part of your body bettering routine. We suggest using in conjunction with regular exercise, healthy diet, regular vigorous massage, and the rest of the Bliss Fat Girl Slim regimen, which I'm going to look and see what they have for legs because I've really been working on my I've really been working on my arms and now I'm really really concentrating on my legs too. So this is what it looks like. I have used it every day starting that night all the way up till this morning. And you squeeze it out. See, that's kind of like a nubby. And it's it's not hard, but it's, you know, kind of hard. And they come out of there, and you just start squeezing, like, right up here. And then, of course, my worst spot or whatever is right there. So I squeeze it all over, and then I rub it all in, you know, everywhere. And I usually hit back there the hardest and then put it up and then rub it in there. And it's got that kind of smell that's kind of like, it's, I always have to say minty is the most of it. Kind of like a spa, minty spa type smell. And you know what, the way I looked at it is, if you know, it's not going to hurt anything. I might as well try it. And it's kind of like um, that nail growth lotion. They say what really makes your nails grow is you paying attention and rubbing on the nail bed. And so I thought that. I thought, you know, if nothing else, it'll be good for my circulation and it won't hurt. So I grabbed it and I went to talk to Kate in the back. And she said, oh, is that that arm candy? I love that stuff. And I was like, yeah. So I was thinking, gosh, it must be good. Then I went to check out. And the girl, when she was checking me out, said, oh, God, I gave this to my mom. And she loves it. And I figured out they must have all gotten it. You know how they all get samples when they weren't there? And she said, I told my mom, she said, um, ignore the name because she had put it in like a gift thing of hers. But she said her mom just loved it. So by the time I left there, three people had told me they loved it. So I don't know if it's really helping. 
um, it feels good. The only thing is I haven't been able to put my Jergens BB body on my arms because I've been doing that when I get out of the shower. So I don't know if my arms look funny and they probably just don't look as tan, but I really wanted to try it. This is Potacular Results. And it's got like caffeine, grapefruit, um, all kinds of stuff like that in it. Creatine uh, fragrance, um, titanium dioxide. You know, of course it's got a blue million ingredients in it. Salicylic acid, oh yeah because it's supposed to help with your skin to make your skin look prettier, like fade any scarring. Um, let's see, proper absorption, let's see. Oh gosh, lactic acid, caffeine, white sapphire, and moisture beads. Clinically proven to reduce redness and helps provide a firmer, smoother, and more toned appearance. So I think it's probably just like an eye cream or something. So I'll let you know how that goes, but I thought it was just interesting. Let me know if any of you have tried it or any of their products and what you think about it. Okay, so I've told you about those. Um, let's see, this, who did I watch that was using this? It was that pretty little Australian girl, Lauren. I'll put her link down below. Blonde hair, blue eyes, Australian accent. I'm not sure, but she was doing a smoky eye, and she was using this palette, and when she showed it, I just knew that it was going to be something that I would love, and it is the Meat Matte Nude by The Balm, and I know, it seems like I can remember you guys talking about this, and I don't know why I didn't try it, but oh my goodness, it has a big mirror, a beautiful palette. This palette is what I love about it is it's nude, but they're not boring. They're like good colors. And today I have on, um, oh, my eyes itching. I have on um, Bare Minerals Pebble as a base, and then I just went in with the matte hung <laughs> in the crease to deepen the crease a little bit. And then some days I'll just put something all over the lid, like naked too or naked. And I can go in with any of these colors in the crease because they're all neutrals and they're all darker and you can see which ones I've used. She used, I think, these three to create her smoky eye. I've got this as a highlight today. I've used this. I mean, I think I've used, I think it looks like I've used them all. I might not have used Matt Rosen, Matt Wood, Matt Garcia, but um, anyway, I recommend that you get this. If you are wanting or love matte shadows i really like it if you like dark shadows i like having the option of some dark shadows and so many nude palettes are just so muted that you can't really get any pizzazz out of it and um, i just love it i really do and i will tell you that the other palette i ordered is from the balm too and it came from watching jess jessica james decker so i should get that today i ordered them both off of amazon i am an Amazon Prime junkie now. That has been like the best thing. And we've enjoyed watching the movies and everything. So love that. Definitely one of the things this week. This, the hot sets, the hairspray, or things. This is something else that Lauren used in her tutorial. She didn't use this, but I think she said that she usually uses this or something. Maybe she did use this. And something she said made me get it. It is the Sigma Medium Brow Powder, and I was able to get it off of Amazon when I ordered this, and that's, you know, that just makes you get it, because you don't have to go to another site. Sigma Brow Powder in Medium, and it's a little bit darker than I am used to, and I used it the other day on my video, and a lot of you said you liked my brows. They were a little, I got a little carried away, I think, up here with them, but, um, so I'm still working with this, but it's nice to have it and just to try it. And today I went with my uh, Charcoal Brown from MAC. That's my favorite one when I want to find brows, but I don't, I don't know, I don't want them to be too thick because you can get such a precise brow with that. And then my favorite Hakuhodo brush. Or, oh, I've got one other thing. This was a recommendation of Tati, Glam Life Guru. And I ordered this thing probably two or three weeks ago, and I didn't realize it was coming from Canada. I just got the thing the other day. It's called a Forever Puff, and there's different sizes and different, you know, looks or whatever, and this is the original, 
It's the complete line of high quality design facial puffs. Each Forever Puff is handmade with superior foam resistant to bacteria and fatigue. Forever Puff, a machine washable and dryable facial puff. Foreverpuff.com. And she had one, you've probably seen her use it, but it is just a facial puff. And what she said it was good for is if you ever get too much bronzer or blush on, you can take this and it wipes it off and then you, I, what I loved about it is that you can wash it and dry it. And I just thought it was such a neat concept. And it's just so, so daggone pretty, isn't it? A couple of you said that my camera was going wacko the other day. What it is, is I was holding up all those different products. And so my camera, you know, see it wants, it focuses on whatever I hold. And then when I take it down, it focuses back on me. And so I must have been just holding a lot of stuff up is what it was. But this is so cuddly. <laughs> So this is kind of neat. I can't remember how much it was, like $15 or something. I went to Gap yesterday to get, I tried to get Brooke a pair of jeans, but she I did like grab the these I for me. And these are Inspiration shorts. They are the Sexy Boyfriend shorts, low rise, relaxed in the hip and thigh, size 28. And I, I tried on the 27, but they didn't fit like I wanted to. I wanted them to kind of hang on my hips and wear like a big t-shirt and sandals or wedges. I love wearing uh, my Stuart Weitzman wedges with shorts. And so they come down, they're not short shorts at all. They're really pretty long. They're longer than I thought they would be because by the time they hang down, they're, you know, and I loved that they're stitched right there. So they'll and stay then I went across the street yesterday to Oliver and I had not been in there in a couple of weeks, I guess, two or three weeks. And I knew, I just felt like they probably had some new stuff in there. And sure enough, they have gotten one teaspoon. And you guys know how much I love those awesome baggy jeans. Some people don't like them, and I understand. It's one of those things, you either like it or you don't. But they had the one teaspoon, one by one teaspoon, awesome baggies. And this is a different wash. Mine are real light. And this is the, let's see what this is called, Cobain wash. I just and I got love the 28. this My color because it's not too dark, not too light, and they're just so soft. They're just like that pair of jeans that has just been worn forever. And um, they look good in the back. They're just, I love them. So I was real tickled and that they had those. guys know I had to get this when I saw it. It is a... Soul Angeles, which I've bought some of this brand before. It's made in the USA. And it says Black Betty, which I had to ask them. But the mermaid, of course, is the reason I wanted it. And it's one of those softest, thinnest, most yummiest t-shirts, you know. And I just thought it was so cool looking. And I just love that mermaid. It just reminds me of like a pirate mermaid, which is what I love. Those real pretty ones. I don't like as much the mist or mystical is what I'm trying to say. I like the ones that are, you know, kind of vintage looking. And um, I just think she is gorgeous. I love that mermaid. So I said, well, I said, what does Black Betty mean? I said, I don't want to have anything that's sacrilegious or crazy. You know, a lot of times I'm just clueless to what things mean. And so we looked it up and it had lots of different meanings. I remember one of them was the limousine that took you from jail to something else or and then one girl said she thought it was like a pirate ship and then they said it could be a nickname for something else so it was so many different things i felt like it wasn't anything bad but um i just love this i think it's so cool and then this t-shirt i saw they had put on their instagram one day and i just oh i thought i've got to have that and it is lna which i love lna stuff and I just love, I love everything about this shirt. Look how the sleeves are kind of gathered. So it's kind of like a muscle tee, but they're finished and they, you know, looks real pretty. And then just the colors. Oh my gosh, just so beautiful. I love when the sky looks like that, when it's so blue. And then it, there's those real big cottony puffy clouds. Um, so I just and, love this. And I got the small and it was actually on the sale table. It was 30% off of 88. So I will put Oliver's, I'll put their phone number down below because you can call them and tell them you saw it on my video and they'll know. They can look up my account and know anything that I got. And then I'll also put their website 
in case you just want to look on their website. But I so, really love and then the last thing I got, I have on, and I have been wanting a pair of overalls. You know, they came, they started coming back in style last year, and I used to wear overalls constantly. I can remember I had two Calvin Klein cut off denim pair, like a dark and a light. I've had khaki, white. That was one of my favorite things to wear. And they are, they're from the 90s, and that's when I was in my 20s. So, but I didn't want a pair that were too sloppy or gave me like dumpy butt or, you know, just looked ridiculous. And so Oliver had these and they're Citizens of Humanity. And um, did I bring the tag out here? I'll get the tag when I do okay, my so outfit here they of the day. Are, and you can see they're this really cool color that's kind of like, I guess like a dark charcoal-y, steely blue type color. And they are a little bit, they've got the, a little bit of wear or whatever. But I love that they're not too sloppy looking. And, here, and then I decided yeah. to pair them with my Valentino Leopard. And that's the reason I don't have on, I have on earrings, but nothing else. And I wanted to wear kind of a, you know, a light uh, lipstick and everything because I wanted my, my shoes are going to be, you know, there's so much going on otherwise. But let me turn around so you can see that they're, you know, I, I love like the pockets and they're kind of fitted. They don't have, it's not like the typical, you know, real sloppy overalls. I just love them. Okay, so here is the tag. Um, let's see, they are the Quincy overall and not sure of the what the color is really called, but it's S-R-N-D. So those are the, you know, if you put that in. But they had probably four more pair at Oliver and I got the small. They're in like small, medium, you know, large. And I think they wanted you, they were big. So they said to size down because I typically probably would have gotten a medium, but these fit well. And she said they do stretch a little bit. So, but Becca said that she had been wearing hers constantly. And so I think that is it for accessories. I just have on my, you know, one of my favorite hoops. It's the, I think it's called the Thin Flat Hoop. Um, I have these I on my website. That's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful sunny weekend. But now that I say that, I think we're getting storms this weekend. I think we're supposed to get some storms coming in tonight and for maybe just tonight. Because it seems like it was supposed to be sunny tomorrow. But I'm itching to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach soon. So have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.